I tried hosting Next.js on Cloudflare Pages. It is fair to say that the result is not what I was expecting. I never bothered to host Next.js anywhere other than Dressel simply because they build the framework and I used to work there. But recently, I've been thinking that it's good to compare things and I decided I would experiment with Cloudflare to give it a try. Cloudflare is mostly known for their content distribution network. However, they also have a product named Cloudflare Pages. This service can be paired with their Cloudflare Worker Compute Service. By using these two together, you should typically expect to get some similar capacities to Vercel. Cloudflare Workers are the equivalent of what Vercel calls Edge Functions, as they only run only a small subset of Node.js. They rely on the same engine called V8, but use what we call isolates. Isolates are simply really small units of computing, like a function that can be safely isolated from one another. They are a great candidate for running edge functions as they are really small and can be deployed quickly all around the world. With all this awesome technology on their platform, Cloudflare should be a natural place to host Next.js applications. Let's put it to the test and see how things go. Opening up the Cloudflare documentation for Next.js tells us to generate a project using the static export option. This is already a setback as these settings mean we will not be able to use server-side rendering or advanced features like incremental static regeneration. Nonetheless, let's push forward and see where this leads us. We are then asked to create a GitHub project and push our code to it so that Cloudflare can find our project. So far, this experience is really similar to Vercel, and I'm excited to see some worthy competition. With the project created in GitHub, let's simply import it to Cloudflare and select the Next.js framework presets, and we are good to go. This should now deploy. Oh, it looks like Cloudflare is using an old version of Next.js. The template they propose comes with Yarn, and by default, Yarn checks if Node.js versions are compatible during the installation of modules. To fix this, I tried configuring Yarn to ignore build engines, but again, Cloudflare does not allow passing custom installation command. At this point, things are looking grim, but then I get an idea to trick the build system into switching to NPM. To do this, we will remove the Yarn lock, and we will run NPM install to generate a package log.json file. This is not something I would expect to do when deploying a Hello World project. Luckily for us, this little app works and we are now able to deploy our site to Cloudflare and it builds automatically whenever we push something new on it on GitHub. And there we have it. Cloudflare, as a Vercel alternative, is not there yet. The build system has an updated Node.js version and we must hack it into deploying only their simple Hello World. It looks like my quest for a Vercel competitor will have to continue. If you want to see more of those, please don't forget to subscribe so that you can see the latest experiments in front-end DevOps.